uh, we have projects that are planning right now, which will make us meet 50%. We have solar, more solar and patches. We have wind. Uh, we have some additional hydros. And then the one big one is the geothermal is away. Do you think we can do away with this? Uh, we, will, we will always maintain our diesel. Because why? Because all these renewables are weather related. The sun, the wind and water. And there are times when we don't have this. So even though we're replacing uh, diesel, we will continue to build up our diesel capacity in order to make sure security of supply. So we will never like say turn it off and throw them away. No. That would be too risky for us. Is it also because um, in case of natural disasters you have a Yes, capital? yes, yeah. Okay. That's why we built Fianga first before we started on it. Now Fianga is always there. But we, we reached the point now we need to add another generator at Fianga. Because the demand right now is 25 megawatt. For Fianga? No, no, the total peak demand. But Fianga is only 23 megawatt. In other words, if there's no renewable, Fianga can't feed. And the low growth is growing like 4.5% very fast because of people using uh, you know if price of electricity is low and people can afford they buy a lot of appliances for home. Should we reach the hundred percent goal by twenty twenty five that will this affect the cost of electricity for the consumers? From as I said, from our roadmap uh, it goes down. The so price goes it. down. Okay. Otherwise we will not do it. Okay. That's that's two things. You replace renewable we with renewable at least cost mm -hmm. to the customers, yeah. What's the percentage right now? Huh? What's the percentage right now? 50%. <coughs> Renewable. Yeah. Provided by EPC. Yeah, 50%. That's for all solar, hydro and? Yeah, and wind. Mm -hmm. So with the existing renewable hydro, renewable energy, what's the feedback from the existing energy? For the customers? Yeah. Well, I think most of the customers are really looking at the cost to them. Mm. That's important to them. And, uh, and also from uh, uh, some of the, the planners, they felt that we over-invest uh, on, on, on the electricity sector because we're building hydros and renewables, but also we're maintaining diesel. That was why the big question is, why, why did you build Fianga? Yet you say you're going on uh, renewable, but we can't we can't decide on the sun like today. No sun. <laughs> is there any particular renewable energy that Zambia is more dependent on? For example, solar, or is it hydro? Or hydro. Is it hydro. Hydro. We just about harvest all the hydro potential. Mm -hmm. There's one hydro in way that we would love to to start, and that's Sili. Hydro in Sili it will generate like 10 million units of electricity a year and that would have been 100 percent of a year now but we have this one big river that we have not tapped onto we are building the dam at uh, Alawa here <coughs> and we will build a hydro associated with that and we will generate some electricity so how many hydros are we we have five six seven eight Nine running now. And there's uh, one, two, three, four more to build. <coughs> the hydros will be the excellent renewable to do. Cosamo. Cosamo. So if all the hydros are we, in operational, it will be 100% uh, provided? We will not get 100% from hydro. Because right now it's like 35% and 15% from solar. So the most from hydro probably 45, 50 percent, and then you have to make up the rest from other. The other two. Yeah. But from the answer, is it from the renewable energy? Well, well, you know the replacing of diesel is not something new. <coughs> Uh, the government started from 1970. Remember 1972, the oil crisis? They, they tried from then you know, to replace diesel. 
and then they built the five hydros in the beginning. Uh, and then uh, there was a lapse. They didn't build any more until 2007 when the climate change came and then the government put priorities on it. And also the financiers, the ADP, all the countries, the, yeah, they, they helped. You also mentioned